Ebenezer Scrooge needed an entire night and three ghosts to show him how to love people? I could have done it in an hour. <gasps> dot, dot, wake up. Is this real haze or dream haze? Connect HQ needs you, Dot. You must find three people who have low spirits and find a way to cheer them up. I can do it. You give me the Scrooges and I'll give you results. I just need one other thing. Name it. Music! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is my musical Christmas dream. Why so glum, chum? Tomorrow's Christmas. Shouldn't that make you excited? It does. But then after Christmas is a day that isn't Christmas. And then another day that isn't Christmas. There's a whole year full of days that aren't Christmas. It bums me out. Christmas is a great day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But it doesn't have to stop there. That was just the beginning. Check this out. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let it blow up all the pages that this show gone on. Let his word explode from this video into your life. This is the story of Jesus. If you've ever heard it before, then you might think the story of Jesus begins long ago on a star-filled night in a little village of Bethlehem. When Mary, his mother, gave birth to him in a stable. And that is a part of the story. But that wasn't really the beginning at all. You see, that was no ordinary night. And Jesus was no ordinary baby. To find the true beginning of the story of Jesus, we have to go back. All the way back to the beginning of history. To the very beginning of everything. When we do, we find out that Jesus was there and that he was very busy because long before he came into the world as a little baby, he was with God the Father in the very beginning. And he was about to accomplish some of his very best work, creating absolutely everything. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus was the Word. Everything that was created received its life from Jesus, the Word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. Then God spoke and said, Let there be light. And those words brought life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness will never stop it. Jesus, who is the one true light, who gives light to everyone, came into the world. The Word, that's Jesus, became human and made his home among us. He came into the very world he created. He came so we would see God. He grew into a boy who grew into a man who died on a cross for our sins. He showed us what love looks like. He showed us what God looks like. And when we love him back, 
we become children of God. So we can live like Him and love like Him. And we can show the whole world what God looks like too. And that is the story of Jesus. Jesus was born to show the world how to live a life of love. And we can do that every day, even if it isn't a holiday. How? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, what's that music? And where is it coming from? This is a musical. But how did it know to start playing? Stop asking questions. Go with it. When I wake up, the day is a gift that I can't wait to start. A new melody is waiting for me. I can hear it in my heart. If you wanted the sun but got showered, oh, if you needed the sweet but got soured, don't you ever forget you're empowered with song. we can show the world that God changes our spirits when we choose to follow Jesus. Look for the musical moments in every day. Okay, let's sing another one. I really wish I could, but I've got other people to cheer up. so sad, lad? Because I know I'm not going to get what I want for Christmas. What did you ask for? Same thing I ask for every year. <sighs> A frog army. Tell me more. Well, it's exactly how it sounds. It's an entire army of frogs that'll do whatever I say. I mean, what do you get the guy who has everything? Frog army. Exactly, but I never get it. But Christmas isn't a time to dream up better gifts than the best gift we already got. What do you get for the world who needs everything? Jesus. Exactly. God gave the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. Jesus was sent to earth to give me, to give everyone, an example of how to look and act like God, our heavenly dad. God sent the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. It's not bad to have a Christmas list. Just don't forget the most important part of this season. Thanks, Dot. So what did you put on your list? I'm so glad you asked. I've edited my list to be a model of simplicity. Take a look, I think you'll see my list is just as short as me. All I really want is a bag of snakes, some funnel cakes, a disco ball, but that's not all. Feed a dolphin, drive a blimp, ride a seesaw with a chimp, a bouquet, secret 
passageway, a unicorn on roller skates, surfing lessons, bumper cars, and some ninja throwing stars. A tire swing, some jelly beans, a cool tattoo, but I'm not through. Find a banjo, learn the banjo, teach a chimp to play the banjo. A boat that is unsinkable, a sock that is unstinkable, a flying squirrel, a time machine, and HQ needs a submarine. If you find it hard to get all my wishes, don't you sweat, I'll settle for a drum set. Well, that's detailed. Ah! Oh, what is this? Sounds like another person needs my help. Why so cross, boss? Do you mind explaining this? It's a gingerbread house. But what's it for? What's its purpose? It's a gingerbread house. Yes, I can see that. But do you have a permit to build it? Nope. That's a violation code 53-17. Do you have an icing permit? I took the test, but didn't pass. That's a violation code 2020-3. You seem more upset than usual. Come on. What's going on? Day after day, I find a mess, I issue a safety warning. And I've had it to about here. It's a lot of paperwork. I get it. Do you maybe want to sing about it? I'm so glad you asked. Let it all out, big guy. A 7 80, a 30 15. I'm being bummed daily by the troubles I've seen. Another day, another mess. It's taking its toll. I might be keeping you in line, but I'm losing control. I need some. on the ceiling, no songs that don't rhyme. Another day, another chance to show some compassion. I've been wearing out my catchphrase in an orderly fashion. But my estimation, all my irritations come from these violations. God, the safety code blue. What am I going Some heavy stuff. It's like everywhere I look, I see mistakes. What if I told you I've got a cure for your blues? I'd say tell me all about it. We can talk about someone who never made mistakes. Let's memorize this verse from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 2. It goes like this. Ephesians 5, 2. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love. Live a life filled with love. Following the example of Christ. Following the example of Christ. Jesus Christ came to earth and lived a life without mistakes so we could see a clear example of how we should live. Hmm. So next time I'm feeling the blues, I should just open up my Bible and spend some time with God. It could help. <laughs> Thanks, Dot. Hey, you mind if I keep the sunglasses? They make me feel kind of cool. Consider it my Christmas gift to you. that. I helped three people and it hasn't even been an hour. Take that, Charles Dickens! Hmm. Now what? 
I guess I should wake myself up. But a musical can't end without a big full cast finale. Hit it! Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply our Christmas message. The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. Jesus showed us how to live a life of love. If we want to look like God, we should follow the example of Jesus and share his love. Jesus is God's son, and he's been there since the very beginning. Throughout time, Jesus has shown us how to live in love like God. Jesus died for us to make us right with God. Jesus is God's first Christmas gift to us. We can sing loud about the love that God shows us and show the world what Christmas is all about. Learning to live and love like God our Father will show others what God looks like, and they'll want to follow Jesus too. God gave the first Christmas gift to show us how to love and live. Merry Christmas, and remember, Connect HQ is here to wake up, Dot. Wake up, Dot. Wake up! Dot, it's time to decorate Christmas cookies. Whoa, what day is it? Did I sleep through Christmas? Nope, it's still Christmas Eve. You were talking in your sleep. It sounded like you were making a transmission. I was. I learned a lesson, and there was singing, and there was dancing, and it was wonderful. Well, it may not be a musical, but we could sing Christmas songs while we decorate our cookies. I would love that. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing 